the uh, wheel speed sensor and we want to make sure that that wheel speed sensor moves all the way forward so it's all the way out and then it'll bump back in when we put the wheel on want to check your spindles nice and clean and that there's no wear marks where the seal sits here you shouldn't be able to catch any grooves with your fingernail on there that should be good and where the bearings run should be clean and our threads should be nice clean on there as well then the S cam we want to make sure the S cam isn't all flat spotted on the outside here as well that one seems good and we can put a dial indicator on there and we're going to check the play of that so all we do here is we just put on our dial indicator uh, magnetic base here and we'll bring it up to our S cam head. So uh, if you want to, you can zero the dial, otherwise read total indicated run out. And we're just going to move the S cam up and down. And we're going to read the total indicated run out. So in this case, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. back to the 10 so 75 minus 10 is 65 so we've got a little bit excess of clearance in there so in that case the best thing to do here is to take the S cam apart and replace these bushings in here you don't want it any more than 30 thousandths of an inch up and down because that's used to take away some of the timing for the brakes so uh, we want to get that fixed now the other thing, that, and that's the bushings inside here that get changed. Um, the uh, in and out play, we can measure that too. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the in and out play of the S cam. And uh, we're going to put the dial indicator on and we're going to move it all the way out here. So we're at 5 and then we're going to slowly move it back in. So we're at Oh, there's one revolution to the eight and two two full revolutions of this so we've got uh, 200 thou uh, the maximum allow is 60 that's controlled now back in on the end of the S cam we put shims in here to control the amount of in and out play so what we would do now is we'll just go and we'll add some shims to the back and get this in and out play uh, between about five and sixty thousandths of an inch in and out. You get too much out play, uh, the cam tends to walk out. You can have the rollers wearing odd on here or other problems that can occur. You want to keep that no more than sixty thou uh, on the.